Hey everybody, Sean here with Cosmic Candy. Today I'm going to show you two ways to work with audio from Atlas to Ableton. For those unfamiliar with Atlas, it's a drum machine and sample manager that uses AI to match similar sounding samples together, making it a useful tool for discovering new sounds in your sample library you would not have otherwise used. Here's a beat I created where I used Atlas to pick my samples. I think the drums sound decent, but I want to do some further processing on them. The first way we're going to go about doing this is by routing each drum pad in Atlas to its own audio track in Ableton. I'm going to start off by setting each drum pad to its own external out audio channel. A quick way of doing this is by clicking the external out drop down arrow and selecting sequential. Now each pad should be assigned its own channel. From here, we'll create a new audio track in Ableton for each drum pad in Atlas. You'll notice that the first drum pad on the bottom left is already routed to the track containing the Atlas plugin. So we'll only be creating 15 audio tracks for the rest of the pads. With the new audio tracks created, we'll now set them up so that they are receiving audio from Atlas. We'll do this by setting the input type of each audio track to Atlas, setting the input channel to the corresponding external out, then changing the monitoring to in. After doing this for each track, we should now be able to hear our beat in Ableton. The second way we can use Atlas with Ableton, which is the way I prefer to use it, is by exporting our samples from Atlas and then importing them into an Ableton drum rack. I like using this method to work because it allows me to use Ableton sampler functions to further edit the samples. First, we'll want to start by deleting our sequence by clicking the trash icon and then putting a MIDI note on the first beat of the sequencer for every sample. We'll be doing this so that when we export the audio, we won't have to adjust the start and end times of the samples because it will be exporting just the one hit on the first beat. Now we'll export our audio by clicking export, audio, click stems, make sure loop and tail are enabled, and then click render. Now we can drag our samples into Ableton. From here, we'll create a drum rack and drag our samples into it. Okay, we'll now want to get our sequence back by opening Atlas back up. and clicking undo a few times so that we can export our MIDI again and drag it into the arrangement view. Great, now we have our samples from Atlas working inside of Ableton's drum rack. With our idea now in Ableton, I flesh things out a bit more. Now 
Now that you have two ways of using Atlas with Ableton, you can take your drum sounds further however you like. I hope you found this video useful. This is Sean with Cosmic Candy, and I'll see you in the next one.